Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Beautiful day today. Lots of sunshine, mild temperatures really on the warm side. We're starting to warm up again after the weekend rain and the cool down. Lots of 70s coast and a mix of upper 70s to low to mid 80s for the inland valleys and hills. Same thing across the state, really not that much warmer as you head into the Central Valley, middle 80s, Sacramento, Fresno, Lake Tahoe 64. So you can tell it's not a summer program, right, where we're seeing those triple digits in the Central Valley, although they may see those uh, from time to time in the next month or two. It's certainly not out of the question. It's not where we're at right now. 70s though tomorrow in Tahoe. So again, that warming trend continues tomorrow. Upper 80s, Sacramento, 89 Fresno, and 90 in Bakersfield, and 101 in Palm Springs, 94 in Vegas. So down from those, you know, 110s, 115s we saw a few weeks ago, and lots of 70s along the coast, and 89 in Los Angeles tomorrow with 81 in San Diego. All clear here along the coast. Uh, we'll wait for the return of the marine layer, which might be this weekend. We could see some fog. Uh, other than that, not much happening for us. Low pressure up over Montana with some showers and thunderstorms and cooler weather. But again, the west is pretty quiet right now and a lot of dry air. What you're looking at here is the water vapor imagery. And, uh, this color right here indicates warmth and dryness in the atmosphere. The rain and the showers and the clouds all to our north or way off uh, to our west. And again, there's no uh, big fronts headed our way at this point. We did have our September rain, which was nice. That's all said and done. Now we'll check in on Fiona, which of course came through Puerto Rico a few days ago. Bermuda is right there and the track's going to bring it pretty close to Bermuda. You can see the eye there. Big storm, by the way, not only hurricane force winds, but tropical storm force winds obviously extending out from the center too. And those extend almost 300 miles from the center. So you don't have to be very close to at least see the effects. But thankfully, it looks like Fiona with 130 mile an hour winds right now will pass to the west. See this front right here? This is a cold front coming through the east coast, and that's typical in fall. You wouldn't see that in the summertime. This acts like a buffer, so you can kind of see the track was north, and it's starting to just uh, track more north, northeasterly, which is going to bring it away from the east coast. But you see St. John's up there? Yeah, sticks out in the ocean, and that's a problem. Here we go, 130 on the winds right now, Cat 3. It'll move over cooler water, start to uh, kind of well, I would say disintegrate, but it'll start to slow down, at least in terms of wind speeds, back to a three, a two, maybe when it comes near Halifax, Nova Scotia. That'll be on Friday night, so not too long from now, right? About 24 hours, going to be a quick mover. And then could be a, still a Cat 1, and it may not be tropical, maybe what we call post-tropical by then, but it's going to be a major coastal storm, and that's going to do some damage up there in Canada uh, over the weekend. 50 to 58 for us overnight tonight. We're feeling the cooler temperatures as we go now to longer nights and shorter days. The autumnal equinox coming through tonight here at uh, just after 6. 67 to 80, that signifies that we are officially in fall. 77 to 85, warm temperatures tomorrow. Mountains and valleys, coast looking good too. Uh, hard to miss, really. 73, San Francisco. 82, San Jose. Uh, just a lovely Friday. 70s, 80, Santa Cruz Mountains, nothing too hot. 77, Capitola, about 80 in Santa Cruz. Uh, beaches with some low 70s. 72, Moss Landing. 83, Morgan Hill. 85, Gilroy. 84, Hollister. Salinas Valley also seeing a mix of 70s to low to mid 80s, 78 in Gonzales, 81 Soledad, 85 King City and uh, back to the coast and a beautiful day with upper 60s to low 70s, a 74 at Pebble, 78 in Carmel Valley. Could be a few patches of morning fog, but not much. We may see more of that over the weekend at the coast, but still a mix of 60s, 70s to near 80. And then we start cooling down uh, next week. And in between that, we may see some low clouds form here and there. Otherwise, 80s for most of the valleys. We could see a few low to mid 90s Saturday and Sunday. So we'll be a little above average over the weekend, but nothing too hot. And the really long range forecast, just to kind of a general trend, I see a lot of what we call troughs, so little cold fronts coming into the Pacific Northwest, which is not going to allow heat to build back into California in general. So I don't see any heat waves for a while. I also don't see any more rain, but if we can keep the heat down and maybe get us through another three or four weeks, who knows what October might bring. Right, right. sure.